What's up guys, today we're going to set up our Go XLR, and I'm going to try and do this as quick as possible. So let's jump right into it. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and plug in your power source. And once you've got that plugged in, just go ahead and plug in the USB. Next, you want to go ahead and plug in your headset. And lastly, you just want to plug in your microphone and you can either plug in an XLR cable or you can plug in a 3.5 millimeter jack if you're using like your headset microphone. Once everything's plugged in, it should power up and let's go jump into our computer. And the first thing you want to do on your computer is actually install the GoXLR app. And just to make it easier for you, I'll leave a link to this in the description below. Once you have installed this software, go ahead and open it up. And these are the profiles. So go ahead and click on any of those and it'll go ahead and power on the GoXLR. Once you've done that, we're going to go ahead and start by setting up our microphone. So go to the mic tab and click on mic setup. And from here, you're going to choose the type of microphone that you're using. If you're using a Shure SM7B, you're going to want to use the dynamic setting here. Once you've selected the mic, you're just going to play around with the gain and get it so that whenever you're talking, it's going to be kind of midway in the good range. And then we're just going to add a couple things like noise gate. I leave mine at 43 decibels and feel free to copy the rest. Uh, the next thing I like to do is add a little bit of bass and a little bit of treble and also a compressor of minus 15 dB. And the last thing I change is the de -esser. I make sure I add about 50% of that. So now that we have our mic working, let's go ahead and adjust some of the sound settings in Windows. So you want to make sure that you have your output set as the system channel for the GoXLR. And for your input, you want to make sure that this is chat mic. And the last thing you want to do is just go into your sound control panel here. And on the playback tab, we're going to scroll down to chat. And we're going to make sure that this is set as our default communication device. And we're also going to go down to system and make sure this is set as our default device. And once you've got those both set, just apply and click OK. And now we can go in and make it so that we can change the volume of different apps on our computer. So think Spotify, Discord, uh, things like that. So let's first open Spotify. And once it's open, uh, go ahead and click on this. And I'm just going to quickly play it so that it recognizes it here. What you would want to do here is make sure that you select the output and you're just going to choose the music option. So now that we have it set for that, we can actually go into the mixer. You can also do this on the GoXLR itself. Um, we can adjust the slider for the music tab, and this is going to increase or decrease the volume of, of your music. And you can do the same exact thing with Discord. You just want to make sure that you have the input set as chat mic and also the output set as chat mic. And once that's set, you can go in and you can actually change the volume of Discord. Now, the last thing that you want to do in the GoXLR software here is set up your routing. So these are the inputs that I have enabled. Since I'm not using a console or a second PC, I leave both of these blank. Just know that your setup might be a little bit different, so you might have to play around with it, but this is kind of a good starting point here, so feel free to copy this. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty much a quick tutorial on how to actually set up your GoXLR. Hopefully this helps some of you out. Um, if you have any questions, uh, just leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.